Okay, hello everyone. Yesterday we showed you the art of Greg Mike, who paints large murals and street art. So today I'm going to show you how to draw Larry Loudmouth. I don't know if you noticed, but in Greg's art, he often has a really fun character. And that character is Larry Loudmouth. And he paints them all different colors and different styles. And Larry always has a lot to say. So we are going to learn how to draw Larry that we will be using in our project when you come back to school later this week. If you notice, he spelled mouth wrong. The real spelling of mouth is M-O-U-T-H, but the artist decided to spell it with an F to make it silly. So it's Larry Loudmouth. All right, so here we go. I'm going to draw with pencil. You could also use crayon or marker, but I think pencil is easiest because that way we can erase anything that we decide to change. So when you draw Larry, you're going to start by drawing a square. You could use a ruler or something with a straight edge to help you, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I just go ahead and draw it on my own. Okay, so we have a square. And first we're going to create the outline of Larry's mouth. And that is another square. So it's a square inside a square. But if you notice, I'm leaving some space here around his mouth. Actually, mine looks a little bit more like a rectangle, but that's okay too. So there we have his mouth. So next, you're going to design some teeth. And you can do whatever kind of teeth you want. There's pointy teeth, rounded teeth, some block teeth. You can make several teeth. You can make only a couple teeth. It is up to you. So I am going to go with some rounded teeth. I'm going to start at this end and draw my top row of teeth. And then I am going to go to the bottom and make rounded teeth as well. You could make the teeth go all the way across. You could add one here, add one here. And I'm going to add one more. So however you want to draw your teeth is up to you. Once you have your teeth done, we're going to add a tongue. And I think of drawing a tongue as though I'm drawing a hill. So I'm going to go past my teeth up on the side of Larry's mouth. If you can see, I made a little dot where I'm going to begin. And I'm going to draw my first hill, and I'm gonna stop part way towards the center. Then I'm going to come to the other side, and I'm going to draw another hill. And I'm going to have it cross my first hill. So when the two hills come together, it looks like a tongue. Now for the eyes, there are also lots of different ways to draw eyes. Here you see his eyes look as though they're behind the top of his head. You can make three eyes, two eyes, eyes that are straight at the bottom with some eyelashes, whatever you choose. When you draw your eyes, I'm going to use this line that is the top of the square. 
Like I said, you could draw an eye that looks like a rainbow or part of a circle that goes behind Larry's head. You could choose to draw eyes. If you have enough space here, you could put your eyes down below. Or option number three, which is what I'm going to do. If you're using a pencil, you can draw your eyes so that they are right on your line and then erase the part of the line that goes through the eyeball. So now it looks like my eyes are on top. To draw the eyeballs, I'm going to draw a smaller circle. Then I'm going to draw a smaller circle. And then an even smaller circle. This is the colored part of our eyes. If we have blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, this circle is the black pupil. And then this tiny circle, I add so it looks like light is hitting Larry's eye and making a little reflection. So once again, here we go. We're going to do a smaller circle, then another smaller circle in that one, and a smaller circle. This is the color of Larry's eye. This is the dark pupil. Maybe look at your own eyes in the mirror and you can see the different colors of your eyeball. And then this is the little reflection. So here we have Larry. And Larry likes to talk a lot. So I'm going to draw a word bubble. It's kind of a stretched out circle. And let's see, what could Larry say? I'm going to write, have fun. Because you're at home today, and I bet there's something fun to do. Okay, so practice drawing Larry Loudmouth, and we will get to see him again when you're back in school.